A more fearful battle could be fought out by craft like this. They don't paint flowers on submarines. In fact, there's nothing very pretty at Gosport's naval dockyard. Nothing pretty, perhaps, but plenty to fascinate. Of particular interest here is Europe's only escape tower, a means of training submariners to escape from their stricken craft. This trainee is putting on the special immersion suit, helped by his instructor. The suit will inflate in water and, apart from making him buoyant, provide protection against cold. All naval trainees are, of course, competent swimmers. But being able to swim is by no means an essential of this life-saving technique. The trainee enters one of the three locks placed at different depths in the tower's side, and the door is securely fastened behind him. Inside, he turns a wheel to flood the lock. Danger is ruled out by the presence of other instructors in the water, who go down to the trainee's level in a diving bell. The tank is 100 feet deep and contains 750 tons of water, or, nautically speaking, 10,752,000 tons. The pressure of all that water means that the trainee must breathe out as he rises to the surface. On the surface, the dual personality of the immersion suit comes into play. At sea, it could be several hours before he is picked up, but he is not tiring himself by having to swim, nor is he cold. The instructors can stay down for as long as they like by repeatedly returning to the diving bell or the locks for air. This one is calling a colleague who's wanted on top. It's a convenient method of communication here at Gosport, but they'd all be at sea if they tried it elsewhere.